I've been doing some 3D printing. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any 3D printing, but I wanted to design something. I saw something online, which is an elephant um, phone holder. And uh, my mate's got a kid and he, <laughs> I went for lunch with him recently and uh, the child was causing a lot of fuss because he got bored, I guess. And um, one of the ways in which they can placate children is by getting a phone out and uh, putting on like a cartoon or something like that. Well, I thought a probably good idea if he had a phone stand because he had it stacked up against like salt and pepper and stuff, uh, not the band. Uh, <laughs> so I designed my own. So using my creative skills, uh, which of which I have none, um, I drew a dinosaur and the idea would be that the phone would lay flat here and the little hook tail would be the bit that holds it on. I did legitimately spell that wrong. <laughs> I sent it to him as an idea. I was like, oh, dinosaur, and I write it in kids' writing. But I actually spelt dinosaur and had to add the O on afterwards. Anyway, so this is, I took a picture of this and I put it into my computer. I used Fusion 360, uh, which is a modeling program. And I traced around, roughly around these lines, getting rid of some of the weird crap bits and flattening out this portion at the bottom to make it, uh, well, stable on the uh, on a table or whatever. And this is the result. Ah, it's kind of similar. It's not perfectly similar, but as you can see, it's quite wide uh, and it's hollow in the middle and that saves on sort of space. Space? No, saves on filament. So, and it works. So you can just pop your phone in there and watch whatever it is that kids watch, Waybaloo or something like that, or Paw Patrol, which is pretty awesome, I have to say. And I've tested it in all the phones that I own and it works fine. It can also do portrait as well. So, oh, except you can't tilt it in portrait. It's not too stable there because the weight of the phone at the back sort of pulls it out. But when it's um, flat like that, it can be at different angles and it's fine. But yeah, I just thought it'd be a fun little thing to print. So I'll release the files, they'll be on Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the description. This is it on the print, but oh yeah, I forgot. I decided to brand it. Oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's brighten that up. Oh, there we go. So the brand is third parent. So he referred to it, oh, it's time for the third parent. Uh, and out comes the phone with something on to, to keep them entertained. And uh, so I put that on there, just embossed it on the, uh, the trunk, no, the neck of the dinosaur. It's a fun little thing, it printed really well, just flat on the bed so that there's no overhangs or anything to worry about. So, because if you printed it like that, you'd have to have supports in here probably, certainly with this bit. Uh, so yeah, flat on the bed worked really well. And this is what it looks like on the, the bed itself. This is one I've just printed. Um, it was fairly quick, about three hours it took to print this one on low setting, I oh know, on normal settings on the FlashForge Finder. This is just PLA, uh, green PLA from Hatchbox, I think. It's a lovely color, it's smooth. Um, it doesn't, mine's got some black bits in because I was using black filament before and there's a few bits lurking around still in the printer. So yeah, it's nice. So let me know what you guys think if it's, um, if it's a good idea or not, I can maybe design some other shapes, some other animals. I think animals are cool. I think uh, the kid really likes animals. So anyway, that's just a, a little dinosaur thing for you.